Penetration testing is not simple, it requires lots of technical knowledge and the capability to think outside of the box. Sometimes you will find simple yet dangerous vulnerabilities. Other times you will find vulnerabilities where public exploits exist which you can use to get easy access to the system. The reality is, most of the time you will need to have many different vulnerabilities in misconfiguration where you will have to chain them all together in order to access the system of the target machine. Or you will have a system that doesn't have vulnerabilities, but it has a weak password which might grant you access to the system. The vaccine is the machine that teaches us how enumeration is always the key, even if the system seems to be secure. Apart from that, it also teaches us how important is password cracking. It's surprising to know that not everyone has strong passwords. Enumeration Just, as usual, we start off with the nmap scan. There are three ports open. They are 21, FTP, 22, SSH, 80, HTTP. Since we don't have any credentials for the SSH service, we will start off with an enumeration of port 21, since the NMAP shows that it allows anonymous login. We can see that there is a backup.zip file available. We will download it. It will be located in the folder from where we established the FTP connection. We will try to unzip it with the command unzip. The compressed archive asks us for a password. We will try a couple of basic passwords to see if it will let us in. However, no luck in it. We will have to somehow craft the password. The tool we will use for this task is named John the Ripper. If you don't know what is the usage of John the Ripper then watch this video now. Click the I button now. John the Ripper comes pre-installed with Parrot OS and Kali Linux. However, if you don't have it, you can install it from the repository. In order to successfully crack the password, we will have to convert the zip into the hash using the zip to John module that comes within John the Ripper. Now, type John hyphen word list then specifies the word list, then the file name. So, it will load the word list and it will do a brute force attack against the hash stored in file hashes. We can see the cracked password, 74185.2963. We will extract the files now. On successful extraction, we found two files that may contain the username and password. We will now raid the index.php file first. We can see the credentials of the admin, which we might be able to use. But the password seems hashed. Let's try to crack this MD5 hash from online. The cracked password is QWERTY789. Now we will start our web browser to enumerate port 80. See where can we log in. As you can see, the login page. By supplying the previously found username and crack password, we managed to log in successfully. Foothold. So the dashboard has nothing special in it. However, it has a catalog, which might be connected with the database. Let's create any query. By checking the URL, 
we can see that there is a variable search that is responsible for searching through the catalog. We could test it to see if it's SQL injectable, but instead of doing it manually, we will use a tool called SQLMAP. The SQLMAP comes pre installed with Parrot OS and Kali Linux, however, you can install it through the repository if you don't have it. Run sudo apt install skullmap. To see how to use it, we will type the following command. From the out, we found that we will have to provide the URL and the cookie to the skullmap in order for it to find the vulnerability. The reason why we have to provide a cookie is because of authentication. To grab the cookie, we can intercept any request in Burp Suite and get it from there. However, you can install a great extension for your web browser, called it as Cookie Editor. Search Cookie Editor from the Chrome Web Store and click on Add to Chrome. Once the installation is complete you can copy cookies from the cookie editor. Now open terminal and type skmap-u and specify the URL. Hyphen hyphen cookie and specify the cookie that you have copied from cookie editor. Now, we ran the skmap. There will be some questions that the tool will ask you, you can respond with yes or no or just by pressing enter for the default answer. Out of this output, the thing that is important to us is the following. Get parameter search is vulnerable. Do you want to keep testing the others, if any? The tool confirmed that the target is vulnerable to SQL injection, which is everything we needed to know. Now, we will run the school map once more, where we are going to provide the hyphen hyphen OS shell flag, where we will be able to perform command injection. We got the shell, however, it is not very stable and interactive. To make it much more stable, we will use a reverse shell payload. Before running this you have turned on the netcat listener on the port that you mentioned. Then, we will execute the payload. Let me check if the connection is established or not. We got the foothold. We will quickly make our shell fully interactive. Now, we got the fully interactive shell now. Privilege escalation. We are user posters, but we don't know the password for it, which means we cannot check our pseudo privileges. We will try to find the password in the HTML folder, since the machine uses both PHP and SQL, meaning that there should be credentials in clear text. Before that, I have to change back the directories to the home directory. Now run cd slash bar slash www slash html. Now I list to list the files and directories. Now let me read the dashboard.php file using the cat command. As you can see we found the username and password, so we will use the SSH to get a login session. The user flag can be obtained from here. Now, we will type the sudo hyphen l to see what privileges do we have. So we have sudo privileges to edit the pghba.conf file using vi text editor. As you can see, we have managed to open the vi editor as the super user, which has root privileges. Now, we will press the semicolon button to set the instructions inside BI. Next, 
Mention the bash path. After we execute the instructions, we will see that we got the root shell. The root flag can be obtained in the root folder. We successfully got the root flag. Congratulations! Now paste both flags to hack the box. Before that you have to solve the questions that can be found on my blog. If you have any doubts and queries then write me a comment in my comment section.